Welcome back, Laser Community. So I've had a couple of people request that I do some videos on maybe how to do some painted canvases. And as it happens, I need to get one done. So today I'm going to take you on my trip through how I do them. Stick with me for more. The first thing I'm doing is putting on a good heavy coat of white. I'll go first one direction and then the other. And I do want this to be a fairly heavy coat because as you can see, we're trying to cover up this previous image. Once that coat of white is put on, we'll let it dry. Drying times vary. It can take anything from half an hour to an hour and a half. It really kind of depends. I've got it kind of cold where I'm at now, so the paint's not drying as fast. Stick with me and we'll do the next layer. As you saw, we had a little dysfunction with the white paint. I'm sorry about that. Right now, we're going to cover that white paint with a good heavy coat of yellow. I'm using the Rust-Oleum 2X Sun Yellow. That just works really well for me. And we are going to, once again, do a nice heavy coat. First one way, then the other. We want to make sure all that white is completely covered up. No signs of it anywhere at all. Stick with me for more. All right, we got our white done. We got our yellow done. Next up, we're going to do an orange. And once again, it's going to be the same. Pretty good, heavy coat. You're not putting it on real thin or light. And once the orange is done, we've got two colors left to go. We're going to do red over the top. I think I'm going to put out a Christmas themed canvas so stick with me till the end and we'll see what we come up with sorry folks it's gotten uh, bright enough i need the sunglasses out here now uh we are now getting ready for the red layer uh once again we're going to put this on at a fairly heavy bit uh first going left to right then going top to bottom you want to make real sure all your colors are covered. Everything's looking red and red only. Then you're going to let that dry. Stick around. We'll put on our final cover and get this thing engraved. And it's time for our black layer. This will be the final coat we spray on here. So we want to make sure we get all of our edges covered good. Uh, just make sure that everything's looking good, fully covered. Then you'll be letting this dry. When it was warmer, I'd say dry for an hour and a half. But you want to make sure that it is good and dry before you throw it on your laser. Uh, we'll be back in a bit with settings and how we use light burn. Alright, and we are back. We're going to do this Christmas picture today on a painted canvas. So the first thing we're going to do is go over our settings. We're going to set, I've got a, uh, I've got a library entry for it. Oh, uh, let's see here. We're going to look under painted canvas. I need to make this just a little bit bigger so I can see what's going on here. Do that by clicking and dragging out to the side. And I have painted my canvas white, yellow, orange, red, and black. So we're going to assign that. To our layer now let's go over a couple of things here real quick so first of all you'll notice that my speed is in inches per minute so if you do metric same thing just convert it over you'll enter into Google convert 236.2 inches per minute to millimeters per minute or millimeters per second depending on your settings Second thing is my max power. I'm going to 37.5% max power, and I think that'll turn out really good. The last thing I want to point out here is my scan angle. I do have that set at 90 degrees. Uh, I've just found that this gives me a better image. And since I processed through image R, we're going with pass through enabled. All right, those settings look good. 
I've already taken the time to frame out the project, so everything's good there. Uh, let's go ahead and get this burning. <laughs> and our image is coming right along here. Uh, I forgot to mention in my in my intro to our burning here. I ran the preview. It's going to take about one hour and 52 minutes. So we're going to be sitting right around two hours by the time this is done. Uh, canvas, I, I still do them pretty low and slow. I find that that gives me the best image. And back to the show. So, we're starting to get a good look at how Santa's going to come out. And I'm thinking so far, so good. Uh, when we're done, we'll still have to clean him off a little bit and get a better idea what we've got. Uh, I usually, to clean them, we'll just throw them in the sink and hit them with the sprayer. And let them dry. Stick with me. We'll see what the final product looks like. All right, so this is our final product after having gotten it cleaned off some. I'm not unhappy with the way it came out. Uh, I'm seeing a little bit of unevenness. Maybe that's... Okay, I'll be willing to take some of that as painting issues, maybe. Um, maybe I did get a little heavy somewhere. Looks like with the black. All said, I am not unhappy. It's got good detail. Let me know in the comments what do you think. Is there something you think I could do better? Thanks for following along with me on this. I know it's been a long time coming. Um, anything else you'd like to see me give a try at, let me know. I'd love to hear from somebody. Thanks a lot. This is Steven with S&J Custom Works. See y'all later.